This is the seventh part of the tracking videos and here I will continue to the uh, tracking the rest of rigid bodies that we have for our actor. So let's continue with the head and I'm moving to the starting point then trying to fit and solve. Okay, the result is close to have the whole lens and I will continue just with the um, individual markers. Alright, so now the shoulders, we have two point shoulders here, so let's move closer and align and fit. Okay, solve. That's enough for the that rigid body. Okay, then the opposite side remove. and solve okay that's not enough distance I think what we can do we can try to increase to see probably the distances yeah we our point couldn't see the distance so we can increase that radius and try to fit well, we still don't have maybe very far away try to fit and solve All right okay we still have some frames so we skip several frames and then continue to fit and solve So we still have our shoulder. Okay, that's it. So now the upper body, let's try with the upper body. Remove in space. And let's try to fit the body. We can use here after mode, try to solve. Okay, so here is too far away. Maybe very, very fast motion, which is uh, couldn't be caged. We can increase the radius or manually control what happened here just to tweak a bit okay let's try to see the radius now this one is not enough There is no, there is no one point. Okay, so here we have one, three points. So we fit. 
and continue. You probably also sometimes it's better to check what we have on our rigid body in motion. Do you see that there is no any translation and rotation? If we need to delete something or to redo our fitting or to skip some frames, we go to F curves, translation and rotation for rigid body. And all the key frames are saved here. For example, we have we have some position and there is a step. So let's see what is the step. Okay, it's rotating around and this is not really correct. So there are markers which is change its places and that's not very correct. So we will need to fix that uh, this swapping where we need to fix on optical data or try to remove these keyframes and try to fix that. But I prefer to fix that on optical data. All right, so now let's go to the last frame and see what, what we have here. Like there is no more three frames. I think so we will try to continue tracking uh, using individual markers okay let's try with the opposite side So we skip all the frames when there is less than three points. We will fill that gap using each marker of the rigid body. And now we don't have any more three, mar three points for our rigid body. It's the same, probably that, that is not our rigid body. Okay, there is no more three markers. All right, so we keep it like that and return to, uh, we have two more rigid bodies to track. I will use after mode here. For tracking, we have a constraints for position and orientation means if the difference is uh, between the uh, tracking frames are greater than these values uh, like 23 angles in rotation in spherical coordinates it will block 
the correspondence values and stop on empty. We need to take care to give two big values because in that case if we if we put very big values uh, we can uh, the rigid body can choose some wrong correspondences and that will be not correct. So there was quite a big gap that we need to fix and uh, fill this gap using the individual markers. So here we have not very good visibility, a lot of occlusions for the right and all right so that's we have all I think not all okay the rest one the last one is the left rigid body for the left hand
okay there is a visible visible situations when we have the swapping and uh, we will need to fix that on optical data finally Okay, that's all and we will continue on the next stage next video.